EG4 Power Pro System, Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Which is the best home, solar, and battery storage system for your home in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market-leading energy storage systems in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're coming back to you with another head-to-head -head battery comparison, looking at the EG4 Power Pro system and the new Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Now, technically, these are not just comparing batteries, but we're really comparing two different systems. Uh, of course, the EG4 system, based on their new FlexBoss 21 hybrid inverter, paired with their EG4 wall mount battery, uh, as well as the Enphase system. Uh, of course, they have the new battery, the IQ Battery 10C, but of course, you're gonna be using that battery as part of the Enphase platforms with the Enphase micro inverters on your solar, as well as the new Enphase IQ Combiner 6C. All right, now before we get into the head-to-head -head comparison, I should take a moment to explain how these are two very different competing architectures. Now Enphase, of course, is an AC coupled system uh, because pretty much everything with Enphase, you're gonna be using micro inverters on your solar panels. So you're going to have your, your solar power will have already been inverted from DC to AC, before it's sent from the rooftop down to the rest of the system. Um, also, Enphase is a proprietary closed system. So again, you know, the trend we've been seeing in the market right now is this trend towards all-in-one or what I call convergence on a single platform where you're gonna get all of your major components from a single manufacturer. So Enphase does not really play nice with others. If you're gonna be using an Enphase battery, that means you're gonna be using Enphase's combiner, their microinverters and that is an AC coupled system. On the other hand, EG4 uses a modular low voltage architecture. When we say low voltage in this space, typically we mean 48 volt nominal. That, that has been sort of the standard for off-grid and for hybrid inverters. So EG4 uses a modular low voltage architecture. Um, it's also a DC coupled system. So when we're talking about AC coupled versus DC coupled, what we're talking about is where does the interface between the solar system and the battery system take place? If it's on the DC side, before that solar power has been inverted, you can take advantage of the more efficient DC to DC solar to battery charging. Whereas with an AC coupled system like Enphase, it means typically your solar power is already gonna be inverted before it hits the battery. But in many cases, an AC coupled system is easier to install because all that connection can be done at the AC circuit breaker panel. So these are two separate architectures. Again, when we say modular here with EG4, it means that in theory, we could use their inverter with a, a battery from a different manufacturer. But for the purposes of today's comparison, we're looking at the complete EG4 system against the complete Enphase system. Okay, let's get to the comparison. So we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six different categories. Now each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now those categories are power, uh, of course storage capacity of the battery, uh, the warranty that comes with the battery, uh, the cost of the battery equipment and the cost to have it installed. Uh, also ease of installation, you know, especially for you installers out there, as you're planning your logistics and your, your staffing and the equipment for your crews, ease of installation is a big one, especially as we're getting into these larger home battery systems. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way that I can award additional points to one of the two products where there may not be a direct one-to-one -one comparison, but where it could have tremendous impact for you as a potential system owner. So with that, let's get to the comparison. All right, first up is the Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Now in terms of power output, each battery can provide continuous power of 7.1 kilowatts. Now I've gotta say that's kind of lower on the range compared to some of the large high capacity batteries we've seen come on the market in the last one to two years. But 7.1 kilowatts is good for providing critical loads back up for your house. Although in most cases, I'm gonna recommend at least two batteries. So double that to 14.2 kilowatts for a true whole house backup. Now in terms of storage capacity, each Enphase battery provides 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. So that, that's where the 10 comes in with IQ Battery 10C. It refers to the 10 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. Now in terms of warranty, Enphase has a 15 year warranty on their battery. Uh, it's just about the best battery warranty that's available on the market right now at 15 years. 
So end phase scores very well in this area. However, end phase is one of the most expensive battery systems on the market today. Uh, and when you look at not just the individual battery price, but also look at your, your total cost per kilowatt hours of storage capacity, uh, Enphase is one of the most expensive batteries on the market today. Now in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give Enphase three out of five points here. They have made some improvements in the battery design to make it easier to install. Uh, the first is, although it is a 10 kilowatt hour battery, it's broken up into two separate five kilowatt hour modules. So if you're talking about what's your maximum lift weight, no single piece of the system weighs more than 200 pounds, so the installation can be performed easily with just two technicians. They've also upgraded the Enphase Combiner 6C to, to basically eliminate the need of having a separate system controller, which used to be their, their transfer switch. So you don't need a system controller anymore. The new Combiner 6C does everything here. And then as far as wiring the, whole, the home for whole house backup, you can utilize the new Enphase IQ meter collar adapter so that way, again, you don't have to wire your own critical loads panel and you don't have to use that separate transfer switch or system controller. So much more streamlined installation compared to the previous, uh, the previous generation. And then in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna give the Enphase system three additional X Factor points, um, really for other features that are available on the Enphase platform. Again, if you're gonna be using the Enphase battery, you're gonna be on the Enphase platform end to end, which means you can take advantage of the IQ8 microinverters on the roof, um, as well as some of the other accessories that Enphase is building on their platform, uh, including a bi-directional EV charger, which we hope to have available for the market in 2026. So this is the Enphase IQ Battery 10C. All right, next up is the EG4 Power Pro system. Again, based on the FlexBoss 21 hybrid inverter, and the EG4 Power Pro wall mount battery. Now in terms of power output, each inverter can sustain 12 kilowatts of continuous power output. So that's a significant increase compared to Enphase. Uh, and for most of you watching, that 12 kilowatts is gonna be enough to do whole house backup with just a single inverter. Now in terms of storage capacity, each Power Pro wall mount battery provides 14.3 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. So if you install the system with just single battery, single inverter, you're gonna get 14.3 kilowatt hours of usable storage. Um, although many of you may choose to add additional battery storage components. So you can have multiple batteries connected to a single inverter if you need more capacity without necessarily needing more power. Now in terms of the warranty, EG4 provides a 10 year warranty on the PowerPro system. Uh, and in terms of cost, I think you're gonna find the EG4 system one of the lowest cost especially as you scale the system up. So as I mentioned earlier, you could install a single inverter, you could connect one, two, or three batteries to that inverter, and as you increase your system size, if you look at the total cost per kilowatt hour of storage capacity, EG4 is gonna be just about the lowest cost as you scale that storage capacity up. You know, for most US homes, I would recommend to install two batteries with the single inverter system. That way, if you're looking for a true whole house backup, including being able to run heavy loads during the evening, loads like air conditioning compressors, for example, you have enough capacity to get you through the night. Now, in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give the EG4 system plus three additional points here. Um, if you are gonna install this system in a grid interactive configuration, you can simply pair it with the grid boss, and the grid boss pretty much gives you all your dedicated connections for grid input, grid bypass, generator input. Uh, it allow you to AC couple onto existing solar, uh, as well as providing smart load control for up to four circuits. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video where we walk through the grid boss, go back and watch that previous video where we show you how that configuration works in more detail. And then in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna give the EG4 system four additional X Factor points for some of the additional features that are available with the hybrid inverter, uh, we talked on generator support, uh, there's black start support, you can AC couple to an existing solar system, uh, and all around this system just gives you a lot of flexibility. So this is the EG4 PowerPro system. Okay, so in summary here, with the Enphase IQ Battery 10C, you're looking at 7.1 kilowatts of continuous power, 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity, 15 years on the warranty, one of the best battery warranties available today. Very high on the cost spectrum. If you're looking at unit cost, but especially if you're looking at total cost per kilowatt hour capacity, Enphase is gonna be one of the most expensive options. 
uh, three points for ease of installation and three X-Factor points. Now for the EG4 system, we're looking at 12 kilowatts continuous output power. So continu considerably more continuous output power, 14.3 kilowatt hours of storage. So more than 40% more storage capacity. Uh, only 10 years on the warranty though. 10 years is kind of like the standard benchmark for a home battery warranty now. That's where EG falls at the moment but where they really shine is the lowest scaled cost per kilowatt hour for the, for the entire system. Three points for ease of installation and four X-Factor points. So if we total it up, Enphase receives three out of five for power, three out of five for storage capacity, five out of five on warranty, one of the best warranties out there. Only two out of five on cost though, one of the most expensive systems if you're looking on a cost per kilowatt hour basis. Three points for ease of installation plus three X-Factor points for a total of 19 points. Now for the EG4 Power Pro system, I'm giving five out of five on power, four out of five on storage capacity, three out of five on the warranty, kind of a just standard 10 year warranty, five out of five on costs, most competitive cost per kilowatt hour as you scale that system up, plus three points for ease of installation, plus four X-Factor points for a total of 24 points. So folks, this has been another head-to-head -head battery comparison. Again, today looking at the Enphase system and the EG4 Power Pro system. Now it doesn't mean that one product is always better than the other in every circumstance. Uh, in fact, if you're already on an Enphase based system and just looking to add battery storage, it still make, might make more practical sense for you to just add on an Enphase battery, keep everything on a single app. However, if you're designing a new system or you'd like to AC couple onto an existing solar system uh, and you want to take a more hands-on approach with a more modular system, it really is hard to beat the performance and the price competitiveness of the EG4 PowerPro system. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a quote and you need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.